Spartan. I'm tired. My fans are tired. Your fans are tired. We're all tired of the talk. Less talk. More action. At Tyson underscore Fury. The real question is, is why do you even have to talk to a champion like that? It's almost like you have to beg Fury to do what he supposedly wanted to do before he got in the position he's in right now. Then all of a sudden it's like he got cold feet or he don't want to push forward with it. It's just amazing that you got to talk to these fighters like this. Stuff doesn't go on in UFC. Not at all. And to tell you the truth, I see why they even fear Dana White even getting into boxing. Because maybe he would make y'all actually have to fight. And maybe that formula needs to be in boxing. Maybe boxing has gotten so bad now, boxing needs to be in a tournament form. See, you know the interesting thing about boxing? Boxing always reflects society and the world. Okay? So, if we're out here producing toughest nails, you know, kind of um, countrymen or people like that, it's going to reflect in our fighters. If we are producing soft mama's boys, cry this, cry that, cancel culture crap, you're going to see it in the fighters. Boxing is a reflection of society. So if you say people are not fighting each other anymore, these guys don't want to mix it up, everybody's acting all soft and sensitive, that's because it's a reflection of society where people run and try to cancel people out for having an opinion, where um, you know we run and cry about everything. This person said this, this person said that. There's no more... I can't speak on other countries, but in America, it's like they're teaching you not to have tough skin, to be sensitive about everything, to cry about everything. If you've seen something in a movie and your gender race wasn't included, cry about it. If somebody says something that you didn't like, cry about it. If somebody did this, cry about it. If somebody says that they believe women belong in the kitchen, cry about it. If somebody did, cry about it. This is a cry about it. Don't do anything. You're not tough. Skin is skin is thin as tinfoil, you know, kind of place. So society is a reflection. I mean, boxing is a reflection of what's going on in society. We are weak in general all the way around. That's just a side note, okay? Other than that, when it comes to Tyson, why does a champion... Um, somebody who's higher up than you why do they have to beg you to fight you should be begging the champion to fight the point is Tyson Fury should be talking like Anthony Joshua in a situation if anybody's supposed to be talking like that goes from all that talking to a complete halt and this is the thing it's kind of the same thing people were telling Teofimo Lopez stop asking for all that money beat his ass and you're going to get the money that you want. Everybody knows that. Fury wants all that money now because Fury don't have no plans on fighting Anthony Joshua two times. I don't care what nobody say. You just heard him say, you just heard him say how he's pulled out of, how he's pulled out of fights because of mental health issues. So who's to say he's not going to have a mental health issue after this? You can't keep Fury happy. He can have all the money in the world. He'll still be depressed. He can do this, this, and that. He'll still be depressed. So it's so so it's so it's telling. Even if he can beat Anthony Joshua, he's on top of the world. There's no guarantee that he's going to be mentally in the right space after that. You know? And it ain't, it ain't no talk. Because once again, his last thing with Klitschko was like, he was not motivated because he achieved everything after beating Klitschko. Well, after you beat Anthony Joshua, there, there really, there really is, there really is nothing left for you. So if you thought you achieved it all, all those years ago when you put on that uh, a snooze fest with uh, Klitschko, then what is he going to think if he happens to beat an Anthony Joshua or something like that, or even just get into this pinnacle? 
like I said, uh, at this point, uh, we already know it's about money, but Anthony Joshua's right. Everybody's fucking tired. And you can do this to a fan, and the fight can lose luster. If Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, a fight that I thought could never lose any luster, it lost it, bro, to the point nobody even cares to see it anymore. I mean, yeah, I mean, we, I mean, I still want to see it. I'm pretty sure some of but the momentum Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder had, I didn't think 12 mountains could stop that momentum. I didn't think it was so big. I was like, man, I can't wait for this fight. Now it's to the point you don't even care. Think about that for a second. Think about how hyped you was. Think about the energy and the vibe that was going on when it was AJ versus Deontay Wilder. Could you really think back then that that could fizz out? But it actually did. What guarantee? And this is the thing. I don't care what nobody say. Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua would would have been a bigger fight all the way around. See, that's a bigger fight for British UK thing. I'm talking about worldwide. Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua is a bigger fight than Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. We're forgetting that this is a substitute. That's one thing that we're forgetting. This is not originally what we wanted to see. Nobody was thinking about fear. I mean, yeah, but what we wanted to see was Joshua, America versus UK. That's what we wanted to see. And now it's to the point you're not even interested in it. A fight that damn big. This is what playing with boxing fans can do. And like I said, you can't keep any new fucking fans. You can't. You can't, because especially if they're an MMA person, say, look, let me check out this boxing shit. They're so used to getting what they want. They're so used to getting action. They're so used to the best fighting the best. They're going to have little next to no tolerance for boxing. We tolerate this shit because we've been putting up with it for I don't know how long. But UFC, fan ba- they're spoiled. Well, I'm not going to say spoiled. They get what they're supposed to get. I'm not going to call them spoiled. They get what they supposed to get. So you think they're going to have patience like that over in boxing? Fuck no. Boxing is a great sport. It's a hell of a sport. It's a prestigious sport. It has a rich history. It will always be up there with the top, regardless of how shitty it does. But imagine if boxing gave the same fucking effort. And these fighters had the same fucking drive that you do with some of these USC fighters. Y'all get paid three, four times, six times more than these guys. You know what I'm saying? But yet, these guys give it they all. They're always entertaining. I never feel like nobody shows up not to fight. I never feel like I'm watching a fake fight. I never feel like none of that shit. The only thing UFC got to do is step it up in a press conference. Because these guys don't know how to talk. You know what? I'll take that back. There's more natural characters in UFC than there is boxing. UFC fighters show, show more character than uh, boxing. I actually got to take that back. They, they know how to talk better. I'm going to put it like that. They're more entertaining for the camera. But Anthony Joss is right, man. People are tired. I'm tired of talking about this shit. To be honest with you. But you know how they say, the beat goes on. Bruce Wayne, I'm out. <laughs>